The Well. Wisdom and insight for worship leaders and music teams all around the world. For details, email thewell at planetshakers.com. Hi everyone and welcome to The Well. Hi and welcome. Oh, you didn't even look. That's how Jedi your reflexes are. They call me Sensei. Do they? <laughs> Who calls you that? Many, many, many people. Your kids? You know who you, you are. <laughs> well, we would like to welcome you to another edition of The Well. I already said that. <laughs> well, re -welcome. We, we would like to re-welcome. Is the year of double portions or we do double welcomes? Double doubles. And, and we hope you enjoyed last week's episode on programming drums. Yeah, That did was you, so inspiring. Did, did you guys learn? I did so I much. Went, I went home and programmed my own drum. <laughs> did you? Welcome to The Well. And this week, we want to welcome you to this week's edition of uh -oh. The Well. And uh, triple thinking. welcome. And we are going to be talking about what? Recording bass. Bass. <laughs> In so a place, London. It's, it's Any Londoners next... watching? I don't hear it from the Londoners. Where are the Londoners? Where are you they're at? They're there. Are they? They're there watching. Oh. Welcome, they Londoners. are. I can see them. <laughs> and uh, in case you haven't noticed, we're a bit crazy today. <laughs> uh, it's going to be, it's going to be about base. But base. before we do that, let's talk about last weekend. All right, let's do that. Where were you? I was at the NEC again. I was at the NEC. The neck. The mm. neck, and here's why, because I'm going to be the music director there for a little while. I think we said that wow. last week. But That's a promotion. It's a promotion, and I, it's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> Look, it was a great Sunday, though. We Yay. had a very good time together. That's uh, good. The, the things that I noted the most were when we pray together at the beginning of the morning before we rehearse, um, there was such a great level of faith that was there. Um, musicians were very efficient, knew their stuff. Good great. Um, Look. It was easy. That's good. Felt easy and Going awesome. That's levels. what you want. We don't want it to be hard. No. <laughs> just like that smile, it's just easy. That, that smile says easy. <laughs> we're, we're happy. What about you, um, Jod? Where were you? The Jonathan? Weekend? Well, I was actually in Melbourne. Pastor. Uh, oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yes. And Pastor Sam, you weren't doing I was music. in Melbourne. You weren't doing music, though. No. Pastor did the, the you can tell. preaching uh, of the word. She did the preaching of the word. You she did a fantastic it. job. Yeah, I amazing. gave out my voice. I but, don't have any left. Hey, this week was our 13th anniversary as a church. <gasps> 13 years. So happy 13th uh, anniversary. And so what we did was over the last 12 months, all the songs we've done, we mm. compiled into a medley. Well, not all, but most of them. A lot of them. A lot of them. There's a few and, of them. And uh, we, we created this uh, just flowing set, 35 minutes. It was set really of a songs. symphony. Was it? Yeah. No. Uh, <laughs> symphony of songs. And um, we, we also incorporated. Mm. Yeah, that or that <laughs> word. Uh, video elements from our testimonies that we'd shot over the last 12 months. I know that it was, was great. So in between a praise song, people didn't know what was happening. It would just sort of seamlessly flow into, you know, the lights would go down and the band kept playing along softly. Yes. But then a testimony would come up on the, on the screens and then it would sort of ramp back into praise. It was um, great. And so we had them spaced out throughout the worship set, and it was yeah, it was fun. It was interesting. It was it made it a real experience for people, didn't it? It did. And it, it was, was all great. on track using Ableton. Yeah, it was all on track. So it was all just yeah. flowing, you know, triggering videos at the right time, mm. triggering all the lights at the right time. Mm. So literally, all we do is press start at the start of the service, and away we go. Start. And it worked. It so was so powerful. It was. It was we had a great time. It. We had really a great, great time in Melbourne. And God's been amazing. If we look back over the last year, what He's done. Mm. 13 years, amazing things. Before we go any further, though, yes. what's coming up in a few weeks, Speech? Look, it's very, very amazing. We do have Planet <laughs> Shakers Conference. Thank the Lord he remembered because <laughs> I was a bit nervous for a second. Is it someone's I birthday? Know. No, it's not someone's birthday. But, yes, Planet Shakers Conference is, a, is around the corner. And Woo! Do you, are you excited, Pastor Sam? So excited. What do you, what do you, what do you think is going to happen there? Amazing things. Yes, that's what I think too. No, it's going to be powerful. Mm. We have declared over it, um, you know, a little theme in his presence. And yes. so that's what we're really believing for, mm -hmm. the presence of God to be there so powerfully, unprecedented yeah. presence. Yes. And so, of course, you know, that there'll be miracles, there'll be dreams and visions, there'll be ideas, there'll mm -hmm. be... Freedom. Oh, yeah. oh my goodness. The, the list, list goes, goes on. on and the list on. goes on and on. And it's only twenty dollars for a registration. It's unbelievable. It's so it's cheap. It's unheard of. It is unheard of. When Plan Shaker started in nineteen ninety seven, it was a twenty dollar registration. Yeah. And it's the same cost as as, as twenty years ago. Amazing. I mean that's just ridiculous. It is ridiculous. So and you, it's our twentieth yeah, anniversary. 
Yeah, a conference. Amazing. So, 20 years, 20... 20 bucks. 20 years, 20 dollars. 20 a minutes. A lot more than 20 albums, though. 20 hours. Mm. 37 albums 20. we've done. 37 a lot of, albums. A lot of albums. That's a lot. And uh, you might have seen on the, on the studio tour last week, mm. in the corridor, we've got them all hanging up. We do. We do. Yeah. But speaking of albums, mm. what's coming up? Uh-oh. Well... No. Uh oh I don't know. What's coming up? It's Just very joking. exciting. We, we, very shortly... We are releasing. Very shortly, shorter than last week. We are releasing part one. Ooh. Part one of our project this year, which is called. Should we you tell say them? Project. I say project. Yeah. <laughs> what? What should we tell them? Are we allowed to tell them? I don't know. Is it a secret? Secret? Well, we're not going to say anything. We're just going to say that in a few weeks' time, you could, you will be able to hear some brand new songs. You'll be able to download mm. some, some brand new songs. You'll be able to get them. You'll be able to get them. And you'll mm. see some awesome videos on YouTube. Yes, yes. So check from, it out. from Asia, Mal so Malaysia, good. and Philippines. Wow. In fact, why don't you here. watch Planet Shakers every week on YouTube? You can. Or Facebook you can. Live. Or you can. Facebook you Live. You can join us every single yeah. Sunday. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey. And come hey. and worship yeah. the Lord with us. Yeah. Why don't yes. you do that? Like over a hundred thousand people watch Facebook Live. <laughs> Amazing. Last Facebook. Sunday. And two weeks in a row. Over a hundred thousand. It's great stuff. There's a lot of people. It's unprecedented. No. <laughs> Hang on. Unprecedented. <laughs> well, we'd love to share with you from the heart. And so this week we're going to have Pastor John share. Pastor Joth here. Hi, mate. I'm going to read you a scripture from Philippines 4, verse 8. Wow. Philippines. Come on, star. <laughs> I just love the Philippines. Me too. It just, that's what I, what I saw. Come on, star. Philippians. Philippians. 4, verse 8. Mm. Now, dear brothers and sisters, yeah. one final thing. Fix your thoughts on what is true and honourable and right and pure and lovely and admirable. Think about the things that are excellent and worthy of praise. Awesome. Yeah. This is a very powerful scripture because very. what you think about uh, determines your life. You know, it, it's, it's very important to have good thoughts. And so many of us are always struggling with negative thoughts, yeah. negative thoughts about yourself, negative thoughts about someone else or a certain situation. And I want to encourage everybody today who's watching to choose to think positive. Yes. Or choosing to think positive or positive or negative is literally that. It's a choice. Yeah. You can choose to think positive. For sure. Yes. And no matter what situation you're in or how hard it seems, um, you can still be okay in a situation that's bad because you're choosing to think about it the right way. Yeah. Uh, just choosing to focus on the positive things. And you know what? Every church is going to have problems. Mm. Every music team is going to have problems from time to time. You're going to have a relational problem, unfortunately, or you, you're going to be upset with someone at some time. Um, and even us, you know, we're in such a great church, but still we get challenged sometimes with these situations. Yeah. And so mm. the best thing you can do is think positive about it yes. and, uh, and obviously read the Bible and, and, and ask Holy Spirit to help you. Yes. But I want to encourage everybody today, think positive Always, always go to the, the positive in a situation, yeah. not the negative. Because every situation still has a positive, no matter yes. how bad it seems. Because True. God's in the midst of everything. So, of course, he he's going to turn everything around for good. That's yeah. right. That's why you can think so positive. Yeah, That's I right. think creative people as well are told by the world that we're often melancholy in nature or something like that. And I think that's a little bit of rubbish, to be honest. I yeah. do too. Yeah, and I think we take kingdom principle over all that kind yes, of stuff. Yes, right. absolutely. And everything that Joth just said is what we should embrace. Yeah. Tell your mind what to think. Embrace it. Embrace it. Hey, guys, welcome to week two of the demo series uh, we are titling this one, How to Do Bass. And bass is a very important part of music. And so we thought, we are going to invite the bass man himself, Josh Han. Hey, hey. How's it going? So good. Are you happy to be here? I'm as happy as possible. <laughs> That's pretty happy. I know. Well, uh, we're going to get Josh to do the bass track now for this. Now, I asked Josh, I want him to do, I want him to play a wrong note somewhere because, that, you know, sometimes we make mistakes when we're recording. And I'll show you how we can just 
punch back in and that's what we call it, punching back in and overdub the, the note properly. But then also show you, because sometimes he might have just left. You might have gone for lunch and I'll be like, but there's a wrong note. So I'll show you how to edit that and fix that. Uh, but recording bass is quite simple. We're just going into a DI, which goes into the, the this desk here. Now, not everyone has a desk like this, but you'd have some sort of audio interface at home that you just plug uh, your bass straight into. You can obviously mic up an amp and all that sort of stuff, but we don't need to do that. We're just going to go straight in as the best way to get a clean signal. So what we're going to do, we're going to start by creating a new track, just a mono audio track. First things first is to name it. Ain't that important, Ham? Ain't that important? Very important. And our, we're going to choose our input here, which is DI. All right, let's see if you've got some uh, signal there, Ham. So, yep, so that's working. It's going to give him a bit more level so he can hear along. So let's just have a quick listen to what we did last week. So we've got our drum track ready to go. And um, the most important thing also when we're recording bass is to make sure it's in tune. It's true. Which uh, we did check the tuning on that. But you can also, there's a plugin in Pro Tools if you've got the Waves bundle uh, called, uh, where is it here? Waves GTR Tuner. So just play your E string there, Ham. So you can see F. Oh, that's weird. But there, so it's hitting right on zero. So that's good. We know we're in tune. Yeah. And now, are you ready, Ham? I'm ready. Are you sure? Yes. All right, here we go. So it basically goes one uh, chorus and then into one bridge. Great. Two, three, four. All right, good job, Ham. Now, how, how did you think that went? Uh, I think that all right. You did pretty good. Pretty good. So let's... Uh, Except for that wrong note. There was a wrong note in there, which is a shame that you did that, because other than that, it was a really good take. Sorry, Joth. That's okay. We, we can fix it. Now, you did it around this... Oh, you just, you just slipped on the wrong note there, didn't you? <laughs> didn't quite so get up there. What, what I do in this situation, too, is... I find where the, the edit needs to happen and it, potentially I'll put a marker in. So you can do that by pressing enter and just write wrong, wrong bass note. So then if you could keep working on it and just, you know to come back to that, mm. that place. Sometimes with a drum, if there's a drum edit that needs to happen, I'll, do, I'll just make a note of it like that. Now, one way to do it is see this little punch record button. This is our normal record button because it says P on it, that means you can punch in. So basically I can just play it along. And then when I hit this three button, it, it, it'll automatically punch us in. Now we've got to make sure we're recording, we're record enabled the bass. So you ready? We're going to punch in that right note there, Ham. You ready? ready to punch. Punch it in. So you can start in from anywhere here. I'm going to punch it in here. And punch back off. So all it has taken is that, when I punched in, it's just taken that part of his recording um, and then just reverted back to his original take. So now that sounds great. And all the right notes. Now this needs a little bit of editing, so you can just drag this like this, do a little fade there, and drag it like this, do a little fade there, so now it's nice and smooth. All right, now I'm just gonna undo all that. So we've still got our wrong note there. Now we know it's this one here. We should turn that into a song. Now, now the good thing is he's already played this note somewhere else, so we can paste it. Now you can see these little grid lines here. That's the uh, beat, that's the time of the session, which is 76 beats per minute. 
Now up here in the left hand corner we've got slip and grid mode. So slip mode means we can just sort of select any part and we're not restricted to anything. Grid mode locks into the grid so you can see how it's sort of snapping as along to the bars or to the grid. And you can change that by clicking up here and ch choosing whatever uh, times you want. So there's a one bar, so that'll select one bar at a time. But I usually like to stay in 16th mode because a lot, a lot of stuff is done in that. Now the same note, this is the right note here. So simply we can go Command C, copy, and Command V, put it right there. So sometimes it's actually quicker just to do a quick little edit like that as opposed to getting the musician to, to redo it all. I mean, for their practice, it's good to get them to redo it. But if you're, you know, it's, it's, there is value in knowing how to edit like this. Now, Ham did that good. He, he, he really played, uh, played it nice and straight and locked in with the drums. Um, another way you could do it, Ham, and this is what you want to do when you're recording bass, explore different options of rhythm. So we know the kick drum's going boof, boof, guards. Boof, boof, guards. Boof, boof, kh. Boom, boom, boom. Mm. So why don't you try just quickly dropping in the start again and following that rhythm of the kick drum. See what it sounds like. You ready? Yeah, great. I'm ready. Two, three, four. Cool, I'm going to stop you there. I'm just going to edit that in. And I like that. I think that sounds good. Mm. Um, going along with the kick drum. Bass needs to work in. Why don't you tell people about that, Ham? Yeah, absolutely. The bass and the kick drum especially because they're the two lowest frequency sounding instruments in the band. They need to make sure they're locking in well together. Otherwise, it's going to sound real muddy down there. And you want a nice, clean, crisp, punchy bottom end. You do. It's what you want. Mm -hmm. So now, um, now that the bass track is in there and it's just very uh, clean sounding, um, it sounds like it's gone into a DI, it doesn't sound like it's gone through an amp or anything. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna show everybody how to make your bass sound good. Oh, please. So if we look at our uh, page here, I'm gonna open up this plugin. Now this is not a free plugin, you have to buy this plugin, but it's, I uh, definitely guarantee you'll f have good use if you buy it. Uh, it's by Waves, company Waves, and it's called CLA, which is Chris Lodow, an amazing mix engineer in America. And they've done this bass, um, he's done the bass plugin, and it, and it kind of all just works for you. You don't have to do much. You've got all your presets here, you can choose. I usually start with um, Clean Edge. Clean Edge, is, it's got a bit of growl to it, and you'll, as you'll hear. So this is without the plugin. So very plain, then we add it on. You can see you've got this, this distortion um, fader here. Now for this song, we probably don't want lots of distortion. So you can bring that back. But you can hear how full and nice and rich that sounds. That's without it. With it. Now I don't know if you guys can hear whether you're watching on your computer or headphones, but there's a little bit of a high pitch uh, signal noise happening on that. So if I was mixing this and you want to get this right, one way you can do is just bring down this treble here. It goes down a little bit, um, but I want to keep that you know clean sound. So one way to do it is pull up an EQ and put an EQ on the channel, and then we're going to do a low pass. A low pass is getting rid of the high frequencies, and a high pass is getting rid of the low frequencies. So this little button here, if we switch it, you'll see that uh, little red EQ knob change to this sort of cutoff here. And the more you pull this back this way, the less top end you'll hear, and we'll be able to get rid of that uh, high end. So it goes about there. I'll exaggerate that sound for you so you can hear what we're listening to. That's the noise I'm trying to get rid of right there. So, pull it back. And it kind of disappears there. So, let's see what it sounds like in the mix now.
that fill is bothering me on the drums. It sounds very robotic, but we'll fix that uh, later on. And sometimes it, it might not sound great by itself now, but once you put guitars and everything, vocals, everything on top of it, mm. it does tend to sound a lot different. But that's how we do bass. Say bye bye to everybody, Ham. Yeah? Bye bye, everybody. Thanks for joining us, and uh, next week, be ready for a whole other step in the demo series. There are segments in the well, <laughs> and this is one of those segments it is. that we might do every week. <laughs> yes. Called? Called. Well, people know what it's called because they came up with the start of this Look, you thing. know what it's called. It's Q&A. But I'll tell you, it's Q&A. Yeah. It's question and answers. You can write into the well at planetshakers.com. Yes, if please ask questions. What about questions. if we have a question? Will everyone answer? Who do we write to? We just tell it, ask <laughs> yeah. everyone here. Let us know who to talk to. That'd First question is from Benny. Uh, Hi, Benny. Benny! Benny! Why was Pastor <laughs> Rudy, Chelsea, Steve and, and Lim Scott uh, there for Planet Shakers in... Why weren't they there for, in Manila Look, Lim and Scott Malaysia? Was busy. Well, they were actually there in Malaysia. They were there in Malaysia. But they weren't there in Manila. Why is that? You know what? It's affordability. That's what it comes down to sometimes for We've us. We've got to run a church here too. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So we can't take everyone everywhere, unfortunately. No. Ha second question. How many cameras were you filming uh, Yule officially for the new songs which has Three. been sung in Minda? Three. Three cameras? Was it? Was it? Mm. <laughs> Three or four? Three or four? I was it? Wasn't well, it? Well, it was really only, it was, well, yeah. Your camera? Well, well we did it on a very low budget, this, this yeah. latest shoot. So Pilsy, Drone? who's our guy, just took the camera over, and he was really the In only red? main camera. And then we put, I've got a good camera that we put on the, on the jib, which is like the big thing that, you know, the big yeah. arm. That, yeah. And, uh, and then Sean, one of our guys who travels with us doing photography, filmed some stuff on his. Yeah. So really, probably three. Three, I got it right. I took my camera, but it got rejected. Is the new song that's going to be on the new album this year? Yes. Yes. Look out for that new album that's coming right. out very quick. Next question is from Ian. Hi, Ian. And he's written this because we've got a lot of questions to get through. So he's written yes. this back just when we were in, in Philippines. Hey, guys, last night was so lit. lit. Thank you for coming here to the Philippines. If you would allow me to ask you questions. How do you synchronise your song visuals and backing tracks at the same time? What software do you gears do use? You Guys use? Oh, he's written gears, but oh. I think he meant guys. <laughs> um, what? <laughs> well, we use Ableton and we actually have a chime code. Time code is, sounds very weird. It sounds like this. <laughs> that, really? The whole track sounds like that. Wow. And, and basically it, it sends signals to another com program which locks the video into that time code. So um, all our visuals run off time code. And I don't know what the other side of the program is that we used in Manila, but here in church it's called Cool Lux. It's a very involved program, but that's how you sync it up. Yay. Next question is from Aaron. Hi, Aaron. Hi, Aaron. Hi, Aaron. Good day, great people of God. Hello. I have a question and would like to know deeper. Is it okay to have tattoos? I do see musicians in the music team in Hillsong and maybe in Planet Shakers, well, maybe, having them. For us in Borneo, tattoo represents our background and our culture. I know it is written in the Bible, it says you shouldn't mark yourselves. Maybe you guys could have a more deeper understanding of this topic. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. <laughs> it is a challenge to answer this because people believe so many different things, but often it's according to their culture. Mm. So what we've decided at Planet Shakers is that we wouldn't get any new tattoos and anyone who joins the band who had tattoos from their past, of course, we wouldn't rub them out of the band or whatever, but generally we don't like to get tattoos simply because we go into all different cultures yeah. and for one culture, tattoos are great. For another ta uh, culture, tattoos are bad. And so we don't want anything to stop someone receiving the totally. gospel, receiving a touch from the Lord because they've been offended by the fact that we've worn tattoos. So that's how we, you know, go with it. Yes, the Bible does say not to mark yourself um, <sighs> but I think maybe that might be an Old Testament kind of thing. But mm. Well, I'm not really hung up on tattoos myself. Mm. They're not an issue, really. You said it perfectly. It's just about presenting yourself 
that is not going to be cause any offence to anyone. And even though we're not necessarily wrong if we had tattoos, and it could, you could be pointing the finger at that, but still, we want to yes. make the, the best um, presentation possible because yeah. we, yeah. we, we exist up on that stage to usher people into worship. Yeah. And if we're doing something or look a certain way that is causing a distraction or causing someone just to not enter in, uh, yeah. We want to try and eliminate that as much as possible. Yeah. Do we love people with tattoos? Yes. Sure. We've got people in our team with tattoos and, yeah. and we love them and we don't, we don't judge them for yes. it. Um, but it's just going forward, we try to make that decision. Well, you, you answered it great. And then sometimes that, you know, people have tattoos that are connected to their past and certain practices of their past and all of that. So mm. often when someone comes to Planet Shakers as well, we'll just pray for them so there's no you know, connection to their past and, yeah, all good. All good. Next question is from David. David. Who, hi, David. Uh, he's from Malaysia. I attended the Plant Shakers Awakening. I was wondering if it was, would it be possible to produce a demo with just an acoustic guitar? If yes, is it possible for you guys to show us how to produce a demo with an acoustic guitar? Well, I think you're ask, the question you're asking is a lot simpler than you probably realise. Uh, the answer is yes, yeah. and all you do is just play the guitar. <laughs> Yes. And record it. That's Plug right. it in, press um, record, right? Yeah. yeah, but I mean, the, the, the best way to record an acoustic <clears throat> is with a microphone. Yes. So you can plug it in and then blend the channels, but <clears throat> the best way, which you'll see on up-and-coming episodes, how to record an acoustic guitar, uh -huh. is with a microphone in front of the 12th fret. There oh, you go. Really? Yeah. You learning? Just learn something. Okay, next question is from Josh. I'm from America and I hear you speaking about a DNA course on your well show. Ooh. We are looking at implementing a leadership course here with our AG Church in Missouri. Great. We Great. want to look over the material if we possibly could and use it. We're an AG Church and would really like your music and ministry philosophy. Thanks again for your time. You know what you could do? You could email church at Planet Shakers and mm -hmm. make that same request and you'll get better help that way. So if you don't mind doing that, that would be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Next question and last question for today is from Ken Bryan. Uh, Hi, Ken. Hi, Ken. Well, he's, he's asking the whole question in Spanish. Hi, Ken Bryan. So we're going to skip that and we'll, we'll wow. translate that later. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we'll come back to him. Thanks, Ken. Uh, next question Adios. is from Maximiliano. Maximiliano. Gonzalez. Ooh, hey, awesome. greetings from Monterey, Maximiano. Mexico. My name is Max and I play guitar for a local worship team. We're coming great. to Mexico later on this year. Hey. We are? Yeah. Oh, cool. great. I was checking out some of your videos on YouTube when I suddenly bumped into the Well 2.0. Mm. Wow, that's old. And saw a video about the guitar episode 12. I was shocked to see that you also use the Pod HD 500X. Well, I did back then, I don't anymore. Because mm. you sound so good live. Well, it still does sound good, yep. I was wondering if you would have the pod presets. I do still have the presets. Um, look, it's, that's a long, it's a few years ago now. So I'll probably, if I redid them, they'd sound a lot better. But you can email uh, the well at planetshakers.com if you would like these and we can send them to you um, and see Yay. how you go. Great. Well, if you have any other questions, email the well at planetshakers.com. We'd love yes, to hear from you. Yes, we would. And we would love you to get online, right, and check out our website for all these um, coming up tours and yeah. everything that is Planet Shakers because the year is going to be amazing and we'd love as many people as possible to join us. Yeah? That's exactly Absolutely. right. And, you know, follow us on things like Instagram and that. Yeah. You get all those little updates. Absolutely. All those encouragements. Mm. Yep. We want to connect with you. We do. Yep. So this week, we'd like to give you a little bit of advice for the weekend we're heading into. We would. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Pastor. Okay. Sam. Jam. <laughs> jam. <laughs> Pastor Jam. That's a combo of yeah. Jonathan and Sam. Jam. 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 I got the jam. Ooh. All right. Let me encourage you this weekend that mm -hmm. you are going to get excited um, about what's going to happen. I, I want to encourage you just like we prepared like for our 13th year anniversary and we put all this effort into it and we came with an expectation as a music team, as a creative team that something great was going to happen on the weekend and our expectation was met as God turned up yeah. and it was an amazing weekend. So get excited. This weekend God <laughs> is going to use you. He's going to move through you. So Come on, stir that expectation. Awesome. 
<laughs> Who's next? I don't know. All right, I'll go. Well, I was really? excited. I, I felt like yeah, no, I was really good. excited, and then that it was just really went, good. No, it's oh, good. I apologise. <laughs> All right, you go, Mitch. Okay. I want to encourage you around vision for the weekend mm. and the weekends that you're going into for the rest of this year and the rest of your life. Um, it's great to it's great to cast the vision before your team, and uh, what that does is it creates focus and faith, mm. and uh, yeah, just do that. Do it. <laughs> You'll be Have great. A vision. Yeah. Be my vision. Beamer. What about you? And the waves Pastor are closing in. Jeff? Well, you know what? I'll, I'll encourage you with what I shared about being positive. And mm -hmm. this Sunday, no matter what situation you find yourself in, choose to think the positive thoughts about it. That would be great. Yeah. Okay, then. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> See you later.